Hello guys and welcome to the ninth tutorial of the series and today I want to go over fractured static meshes, how you can find them, how to make them and how they can be used. So I'm just going to make a open up a test map that I made previously and I'm going to show you an example of a fractured static mesh. So here we've got normal static meshes that don't do anything and then we've got a fractured static mesh that we can blow to pieces. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make, no, I'm going to show how to find them. So in the content browser, go to static meshes. You can just type in the name and it will still come up as a static mesh. So let's say we, I'm going to delete this one, seeing as I'm going to make another one. And then press yes. Okay. So here I'm going to right click edit using the static mesh editor and I'm going to go to the fracture tool either here or go to tool and then fracture tool. Up here you want to choose the amount of chunks you want. I'm going to choose 150. Bearing in mind the more chunks you have the um the more rendering time you're going to have so yeah, I'm just going to put it down to 50 for just for the purpose of the video. And then you want to press select bottom and then support chunks. Just so there's something to support the um, object and doesn't just fall over or whatever. Okay, select bottom, support chunks, that's on. And then you want to press slice. Choose the uh, package it's in, so I'm just going to type it in fractured and then name control a delete wall test frac one it's going to copy that just so i can find it press ok and here is our fractured static mesh but it is not done there is a few other things we need to change i'm going to show you Right now, as you see, there is no material when you hit it. So we're gonna try fix that up a bit. So I'm just gonna delete. Press. I'm just gonna delete that quickly. Find it here. Go to Edit Using Static Mesh Editor. So you want to find LOD info, and then you want to go down here choose go to material press copy and then expand the bit where it says one um, and control V in here and then you need to go all the way down to the bottom make sure both of these are unchecked and now if you just quickly put that in there now Press play and you shoot it, it's now got a material. So that's about it for this um, tutorial. So have fun using practice static meshes and uh, good luck, comment, like, rate and subscribe. Look forward to the next video. Goodbye.